Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your girl Mitzi, and this is Mitzi. Let's think about it. We are thinking about today survival mode. And to be honest, I never realized I was in survival mode as much as I actually am, if that makes sense. <laughs> because when I was having a, a conversation with one of my special guests, he brought it to my attention that my verbiage actually puts me in survival mode without me even realizing it. If you haven't listened to the conversation already, go listen to the conversation of money. It was a great conversation with Richard Friesen where he was able to enlighten my mind and help me and it made me really think about survival mode in a different perspective. Like, what is it? You know, how do we really get in there? And he was able to bring to light that sometimes we do it unconsciously because when we were put in a situation where we had to survive, you know, and we had to do what we had to do to survive basically sometimes our mindset could get comfortable in that survival mode because it's what kept us alive you know what i'm saying so you got to ask yourself what have you been doing that's really been survival mode versus actually living you know because we can say we're existing but our mind is in survival mode and we're not really living so we need to start living versus just existing Nobody just wants to exist in the world. We want to live in the world. We want to enjoy it. We want to embrace it. On today's show, we're basically going to be defining it. I have the eight signs to know if you are in survival mode, as well as 12 ways to regain your control. You know, this is important to really reflect on yourself and think about because sometimes we are really in survival mode without realizing it you know if you listen to the conversation like i said i'm in survival mode without even realizing it and it's like he said it's just because i'm comfortable you know i'm comfortable in this state of mind of feeling like i need to versus i don't have to you know, sometimes a lot of us are in this mindset that I need to get this done. I need, I need, I need. But in reality, you will be just fine if you don't. And that's something that we all really need to think about. Anyways, I just want to warn you in advance that you may hear a little pitter patter because my dog is walking around because he doesn't know how to be a normal dog and sit still <laughs> and my baby is right next to me and he's trying to go to sleep so you might hear little grunts and moans from him as well so excuse me in advance and i thank you in advance as well so let's go ahead and dive right into survival mode what is it i was able to define it per mastermindconnect.com survival mode is the short-term fear-based mode of thinking you you enter when your fights or flight response is triggered. It's a poisonous mentality that leads you to attack or retreat during stressful times rather than communicate and embrace. I'm not gonna lie, that is one of my problems. Sometimes I will retreat during stressful times and not communicate and embrace the situation. That's just me. Sometimes I'm like that, you know. I'm not saying it's the right way. Believe me, I know I have my flaws. That is the reason why I am exploring every topic that I am so that I can understand what everything really means. We all have a concept of an idea of these topics that I talk about, but sometimes we need a further understanding of what these topics are. So, if you're with me, you're with me. If you understand me, you understand me. <laughs> so, ask yourself... Have you been in survival mode? Well, let me tell you the signs of survival mode. Per roseninstitute.com, they provided me the eight signs so that we can be aware if we are in survival mode. Number one, everything is urgent. Is everything urgent? Number two, are you constantly canceling or rescheduling appointments, meetings, you know, calls, things of that nature? That's a big sign. Number three, are the people around you in crisis mode because you are in crisis mode? Do they feel stressed and overwhelmed? You know, is there no joy? Is everything a reaction? Were you never proactive? You know, that you always feel like you're never a step ahead and you're always pushing and running and running to the finish line? Is it all just chaotic? Do you miss certain deadlines? And you can never just say to yourself that it is good enough, you know, that is important and that is one thing that i always have to tell myself i am good enough the situation that i am is good enough 
and where I am going is going to be good enough for me. Why? Because everything happens for a reason and we have to be okay with it. We can't control everything. That's the thing. I feel like we're in survival mode sometimes because that is the only thing that you think you can control, but in reality that you can't, you know, because everything slips out of your fingers, slips out of your hands. It's stressful, you know. So what are the ways to regain control, you know? Well, let me tell you. You got to acknowledge the situation. You got to stop whining about the situation. That's a big one for those whiners out there that love to whine. Nobody likes a whiner. You know, you got to bring those mistakes to the surface. Acknowledge your mistakes. I have to acknowledge my own mistakes because that is the only thing that reminds me that I'm human. You got to forgive yourself. You got to ask for help. You got to get back into communication mode. And one thing I realized, the more I started to communicate what I was feeling or what was going on around me or what's happening, I realized that the other person was feeling that either the same thing or they actually understood what I was coming from. And everything that I played out in my mind never actually happened, if that makes sense. You know, because sometimes we avoid a situation playing out the scenario of how it's actually going to happen. But when you confront the situation, it never happens like that. You know, that's something to think about. Something to consider that our mind is not always helping us. So, we got to learn the lessons. We got to make a new plan. We have to have a reality check program. Meaning in ourselves, we have to be able to knock our own selves off of the pedestal that we put ourselves in. And realize that we are just human, you know. And number 10 is replenish your personal resources, take action, and take stock. So, some quotes to help us keep thinking. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. That's a thinker. Number two, when you really pay attention, everything is your teacher. That is very true, ladies and gentlemen. Everything can teach you something. Anything can teach you something. But the real question is, are you teachable? Are you willing to learn the knowledge that is just provided for you? I am. I'll be a student for the rest of my life. (laughs) Yearning for learning. Number three, it's not the future that you're afraid of. It's repeating the past that makes you anxious. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. That is our show. I thank you for thinking. I thank you for listening. I thank you all out there for just curious enough to know what is going on in this lady's mind. Well, there you go. Now you know. (laughs) Don't forget to check out my website, mitzythinking.com. You'll be able to find that conversation with Richard that I had. It also talked about survival mode and our verbiage. And I think that is a very important go check out conversation of money. You'll also be able to find on my website, the blogs, the quotes, as well as my children's books that I have out. If you have children or if you know of anybody that may benefit of these books, get them, gift them. Don't be afraid. (laughs) The links are right there on my website. I got Mr. Waters and Little Miss Puddles. And I'm not going to lie, Little Miss Puddles is a lot better than Mr. Waters. But, you know, that's just me too in my own horn. (laughs) Anyways, food for thought. Don't let insecurity ruin the beauty you were born with. Mm -mm -mm. isn't that beautiful with that being said embrace yourself and your surroundings always 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 keep thinking till next time y'all bye